hello and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is taylor and for today's video i am taking you through the process of taking this little this nice little this nice little skunk line um in the middle of my head and fixing it so i have been there's a video from like a long time back of the very first time that i ever bleached my hair and it was actually my whole like all of my hair because my hair was much more of like a golden blonde and i wanted to go aggressively bleach blonde i do have some purple in here it's fine um i wanted to go like aggressively bleach blonde um and so i videoed doing that at home for the first time um two somewhat successful results it wasn't you know obviously it was a lot yellower than this um over time i have kind of you know perfected the <laughs> practice i do a mix so normally when we're not on a full-time stay-at-home order um i will go to a salon pretty much every other time so i will go once and then in you know the next eight weeks i'll just end up doing it myself um and then the next time i'll go to a salon so i kind of just balance it off um and I found that that works really well for me and I typically get the results that I want every time. Um, so, but it has been kind of a process of learning how, how to do it um, and kind of what to do. So I figured I would, for anyone else who is stuck at home and is starting to show off the fact that they are not a true blonde, um, figured, I would, figured I would take you through how I do it and yeah, um, keep in mind, I'm obviously, I'm not a hair professional. This is not like professional advice um nothing tops like going to a hairdresser and having them do it your, themselves um also like everyone's hair reacts differently um if you've never ever bleached your hair before uh, maybe don't try it for the first time in quarantine um i know that's probably not gonna like people aren't gonna listen to that advice um because what else are we gonna do while we're trapped inside but anyways maybe don't um spot test things uh, talk to a hairdresser um, but I figured I would just show what works for me and how I do it on my own hair because sometimes sometimes you gotta get a little creative because like this is this is bad this is bad we gotta fix that so we're in my bathroom now and I figured I would show you kind of the tools that I work with to start off with so first thing is a bottle of developer my hair tends to develop pretty quickly um, and so I try to use a lower volume one. This is a 20. Um, I think if your hair is a little more resistant, you're supposed to go higher than that. Um, but 20 has always worked really well for me. And so I don't want to try anything stronger than that. So that's, that's where we're living. Um, and then the next thing is just this really, uh, really cute looking, um, powder lightener. So I don't use like a box kit. I use, these two goodies, which are basically, I think, salon quality, but, like, not quite. Um, and I have found that that works way better than, like, a box kit. Um, it's infinitely more effective. Um, and then, as you can see here, I have, this is my, this is my dyeing shirt, so you'll see I'll switch, um, into this before I start actually putting the bleach on my hair. Um, it is, it's very bleached at the neck. This has, like, become my, like, dedicated, like, I'm bleaching my hair today shirt um so yeah it's got bleach stains like all the way down it it's fine um and then i have my toner so after i go in with the powder lightener then i do a round of toner to get all the yellow out and i use this wella color charm my nails are so bad sorry also why won't you focus ah! anyways um now that my camera is deciding to come on buddy there we go I use the Wella liquid hair toner in T18, which is the lightest ash blonde. Um, so it's a, it is very, very aggressively purple, as you'll see um, in your hair. And so it really, really works well to take out all of the yellow. And then finally, I just have my little mixing brush and my little bowl. Um, and then I have a shower cap here for while it's like, while my hair is sitting and then a couple of hair ties, which I don't have shown, but I will put in my hair. Um, if you notice, I don't, <laughs> I don't have gloves, um, or like, you know, protective gear, um, don't advise this, but I, I just don't, I don't have a sensitivity to bleach, like my skin doesn't get, um, burned by it, 
I blame like five summers of working as a lifeguard and like digging in bleach barrels. Um, I just don't have a sensitivity to it. Um, and so I don't use gloves, which once again, don't recommend. Like get your hands on a pair of gloves, uh, put Vaseline around your hairline and all that stuff. Um, protect yourself if you're not like me. Um, but yeah, I'm just throwing that disclaimer out at the beginning that like this is a this is this is an acknowledged weak point. Um, so if you're doing this yourself, use gloves. So the directions on the packaging for this stuff typically say to mix six scoops of this powder with five ounces of the developer. Um, I obviously, since I am only doing my roots, I have way less hair to work with. Um, so I'm halving that. I have uh, three scoops in here and then I have two and a half ounces, which is roughly a third of a cup, which works well. I get to use my nice little measuring cups and then, you know, wash this really well afterwards before I start using it for food. Um, so yeah, I'm going to mix this up and we're gonna we're, we're gonna get going all right so now the bleach is all mixed up it is very strong smelling so like if you have a well ventilated area use that um if you at the very least door open do not do this in an enclosed space it will like knock you out like i've <laughs> i've had some like weird experiences where i got like very lightheaded from bleach before so like know that this stuff is legit take it seriously um so yeah i basically have just sectioned my hair off into three main sections so i have like the front of it um and so i have like the left side the right side and then i just pulled the back into this little ponytail um that i can deal with later um so i'm literally just going to start up here work my way down one side flip over work my way down the other side um and then when i finish that i will do the back and then we let it sit so we're gonna we're going to get into that. And so I like to go just, I go just a little bit beyond the point of the, the point of the line so that you're not like accidentally missing any spots. Um, Cause that would be a, that would be quite a look. And then I just have this little handy dandy thing to flip over. I don't, I, I think if I were a, if I were a professional, um, these would be like thinner sections. I typically do them in slight, slight chunks and like expect the bleach to permeate. It does. So it works, but I could definitely be a little bit more precise with it, I think. But when you're doing it on yourself, you make do with what you with what you're capable of. Now that I look like absolutely like mad scientist level, um, moving on to the back section, which is a bit less scientific to do because you're just kind of doing it by feel, unless you've got a uh, mirror, which you know, if you've got that, go for it. Um, it'll also get progressively weirder because you'll progressively uh, pull more hair over your face. Um, but um, yeah, I typically just do this one by feel and then after I've got it in everywhere, I go in with like a mirror, um, and kind of flip through my hair and make sure that there aren't any glaring dark spots. Um, if you are a little bit newer, um, to this whole painting your head with bleach thing, um, it might be useful to have a mirror the entire time. Um, so up to you. So yeah, that is, that's how I bleach my hair. And it's, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, obviously there's, there's a lot more to gum. Um, so, but I mean, you can see, so my hair tends to develop pretty quickly. So you can see that like, it's pretty bleach already. Um, so I'm just going to wait around 10 minutes, um, for the back to, you know, finish finish getting the rest of the way there and then I am going to rinse all of this out. I'm going to wash my hair with purple shampoo and then come back for part two. All right, I am back in my bleach shirt. My hair has been washed out so you can see my roots are now a good bit lighter. But of course, you know, there's still, bleach has a tendency to make everything 
pretty yellow and we're not we're not looking for yellow so that's where this stuff comes in and is like super heavy heavy duty purple um and we'll balance it out it'll also kind of i do the toner step all over my entire head um so it'll also help like uh blend the color better um it should also kind of strip out some of this residual purple i have left in my hair um so all of the above things are good so basically it is literally just you know um this little this little bottle of toner it's one part of this and then two parts of the same uh developer that i used before um and i will basically what i'll do is i'll like fill this up twice with that so that's neat little neat little measuring hack um so i'll mix that up and it'll turn bright purple and then i will put it all over my head and i will have a purple head um and yeah here she is all mixed up it, you can already see that it's kind of starting to get purple it'll only get darker um, the longer that it sits. So it'll be, it'll be a real rich purple. So we're just going to start putting this all over my head. Now I, uh, don't do sections for this. I have no justification for why I choose not to, um, other than that I'm applying it all over my whole head, um, instead of just, you know, um, just the roots. So eventually you get to a point where you're just like, adding it everywhere um so it's not as much of a it's not as much of a science i feel like i am sorry that you're just like staring at my t-shirt um i have limited space to work within this bathroom so you guys are just like chilling right in front of my mirror um as i do this whole process um so yeah i'm just starting with I'm kind of, I just said I'm starting with my roots and then I just started applying it everywhere. Yeah. Every time that I do this, I'm convinced that like this is going to be the time that my hair actually turns this shade of purple. Um, it has, it has never happened. Um, so it's still, it's still just like a absolutely pointless fear. Um, but I live in it. Um, cause this is, it's shockingly for something that is designed to like make your hair the lightest ash blonde the fact that it is a dark purple uh dye is terrifying also this is once again why this is my uh dye shirt i'm literally just going to like throw my hair back onto it um without without a second thought um this stuff also just like as a note um burns more than the bleach i don't i don't know why um but whereas I don't have as much of a sensitivity to bleach and so like the entire time that the bleach is like developing in my hair I really don't feel it I feel this stuff a little bit more um obviously not enough to wear gloves um because I continue to be ridiculous and I'm getting it on my face um not enough to wear gloves but definitely just worth noting that this stuff is a little this stuff this stuff has a kick so like brace yourself this is a look. Um, anyways, so yeah, if you can't tell, um, this is broken elastic. This is like a really, really like cheap shower cap, but it, uh, this is the only thing I use it for. So, you know, it's fine that it doesn't really do its job, um, for anything else. But basically, yes, I have slicked so much toner in my hair. It's used the entire thing. Um, and it is very purple. Um, so basically I'm just going to let that sit for about 20 minutes and then we're going to rinse it out and then I'm going to do like a deep, deep conditioning treatment so that, you know, um, my hair recovers from the fact that I'm, you know, putting a ton and ton of chemicals in it. Um, yeah. And then I will let it air dry and I will show you the final results once it dries. I just, I don't like blow drying my hair after I've bleached it because it's just more damage. Um, so once it dries in a couple of hours, I'll be back with the, with the final results. All right, it is fully dry now so you can see the full, the full effect, which is that it is very blonde. There's still, you know, a little bit of yellow, um, up here, right, really close to the roots, um, which kind of happens sometimes, um, but it'll kind of start to go away the more I wash it with purple, um, shampoo. 
so that's that's that i look like an egg uh my hair is the same color as my face um uh, which really just means i need to get a tan um but yeah so i mean for doing for doing it at home it works pretty well so that's my that's my process um if you if you want to duplicate it it works um or at least it works on my hair so anyways that is the end of this video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you want to see more from me you can hit the subscribe button down below and i'll see you guys next week for next week's video bye